Okay, so uh, this morning I was speaking to someone at the music warehouse, where music store, Thoman. Yes, uh, that's probably one of the biggest music stores in Europe, uh, in Germany. And um, something uh, is going on that I don't really like. And that is... Thoman is actually going to stop selling Gibson guitars. They have been stopping to selling Gibson guitars. So um, it's actually that's gonna happen because they have already stopped uh, to taking in more guitars. Uh, if you're cruising into their website right now, you can see that if you're searching for, for example, Gibson Les Paul or something like that, you can see that all the cheapest models are gone. They are sold out. And uh, I think the prices starting at, uh, I think, uh, 1,200 uh, euros or something like that at the moment. And there is still a lot of Gibsons uh, available in the store. Uh, still so but they are selling out all Gibsons and they are not going to uh, take in any more Gibson guitars so that kind of shocked me because um, I have always bought my guitar at Thoman and uh, I it's kind of uh, well it's a it's a good experience to buy guitars and other stuff from there so uh, i'm thinking kind of like why why is this so i asked them um, i asked uh, someone over there uh, why the reason is for this and he said there's actually two reasons for this uh, reason number one uh, is actually that uh, Gibson's quality is very poor these days. Uh, he said that, especially when it comes to these cheaper models, kind of like starting prices, uh, let's say 500 euros and somewhere around there. Uh, so let's say guitars in between, uh, in general, 500 euros to maybe 1,500 euros, the quality is very, very poor. And um, uh, they got returns on guitars, uh, and maybe there could be would be some refunds or you know whatever, and that caused problems for for a music store when the customer is uh, customer isn't really happy with with the the guitar. And of course they can get a new guitar, but uh, due to the quality problems from uh, Gibson and Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, uh, they're actually uh, it's most likely the guitar that the new guitar that customer will get is also not very good so uh, I mean you're buying a guitar for thousand euros uh, let's say uh, yeah thousand euros or so uh, that's a lot of money and the first thing you got to do uh, is to uh, enter a luthier shop or something to get the frets leveled or something like that. I mean, that's probably 200 more euros. So, I mean, that's that's not... It's not supposed to be that way. I can totally agree and understand if you're buying a, a, a guitar that costs probably about 200 euros or kind of like 350 American bucks. Uh, I can tell you that most likely uh, I would not be surprised if you had to do a fret leveling uh, because that's kind of common on the cheap guitars but also cheap guitars tend to be very good guitars some of them so well anyway uh, this is kind of shocking news because I've been playing a lot of Gibsons the the last few years and um, I noticed that uh, newer Gibsons uh, they don't feel right I mean it's kind of 
you can feel the quality is not very good because I compare my my experience with with playing new Gibsons to perhaps playing the cheaper band kind of like Epiphone or something like that. I would most likely quality wise I prefer the Epiphone uh, um, before the the cheaper Gibson. Let's say Gibson for 500 euros or so. Uh, so that's uh, a sign of something is very wrong. So I, I'm not very sure about the rest of the world. Uh, I mean now when Thoman is uh, not gonna sell Gibson anymore there is not very more musical store in Europe left that actually uh, at least not as big music store that actually going to sell Gibson so uh, I know Anderton's uh, UK uh, located about uh, I think um, probably an hour an hour and a half uh, from London uh, I know Anderton's selling Gibson still so yeah anyway uh, poor quality bad quality and especially the quality check when the guitar is supposed to be checked out uh, I think they put a, a little mark on the paper there that it's checked and okay uh, well maybe they have checked it and maybe it's not okay so that's the case Poor quality check. Uh, I don't think the build quality is very poor, but the uh, the components, the way they put the frets on, the way they are leveling the frets, everything has to be so super fast these days. So that's the reason why the guitar isn't very good. So yeah. Uh, reason number two is actually uh, the qualifications to be able to sell a Gibson guitar in a musical store today is actually way too high. So that's the reason why Thoman, uh, well, Gibson have been pushing them, you know, I, I don't really know the reason why, but uh, uh, Gibson, uh, uh, Gibson company actually, um, have to make sure that the store uh, is the way that Gibson want it to be. So, and that's also something to do with how much guitars uh, the music store is actually selling. So if the quality is a problem, I am sure that the store will not sell many guitars of that brand because there's obviously a reason why customers don't buy these guitars so uh, Gibson company actually uh, have been telling uh, some musical stores that it's not okay to sell Gibson in your store anymore because uh, because I don't I'm not really sure but you know the um, well, there, there is a lot of things that I'm sure that Gibson um, has to make sure that the musical store um, can uh, manage to handle. And if they can't, so they will not be selling Gibson guitars. So that's two reasons why Thoman in Germany will not be selling uh Gibsons anymore. Uh, I believe it's uh, electric guitars, basses, acoustic guitars. Yes, I believe that's what it is. I don't know about uh, accessories, kind of like picks and cables and you know all that kind of stuff. I had no idea. But when it comes to at least what I'm very sure about, the electric guitars, uh, and of course I think it's also acoustic and basses as well. So, but the biggest reason is actually the quality, uh, because the quality is the reason why mus music store uh, doesn't really sell as big amount of guitars as they was hoping for, and that makes that musical store 
not buying a lot of guitars from Gibson because they are not selling very much guitars. So that's obvious. So that's why the reason I think why Gibson kicks out some stores because they are not selling enough. Uh, when it comes to the quality, uh, you guys are maybe thinking, oh wow, should I not buy a new Gibson? Uh, well, of course you can buy a new Gibson as long as you can uh, take it for a test drive yourself and feel how it feels to play and you know all that kind of stuff. It, if, if it feels good, oh, it's okay, you can buy it. But if you feel something is kind of, ah, oh, this doesn't really feel good, you should not buy it. Uh, the advice, advice I can give you is actually try to look for a used Gibson. I mean, uh, I know that Gibson guitars uh, was a lot better back in the days. I mean, I'm talking 80s, 90s and uh, uh, a little, uh, a few years into the year 2000 also okay guitars, but these days, no. If you're going to get a, a good Gibson guitar today, uh, you are looking at something like this. This is a Gibson Les Paul Custom. Uh, this is a really good instrument. This is a really good guitar. But however, uh, you have to pay around 3,500 euros for a Gibson Les Paul Custom. The price tag is insane. I'm sure that Gibson can sell a Gibson Les Paul Custom a little bit cheaper. But anyway, uh, in uh, American dollars, that would be, I think, probably about 4,000 bucks or so. Uh, I'm not re really sure about the price tag right there, but it's a very expensive guitar and also a very good guitar. So uh, you can also get a decent guitar if you're looking at um, Gibson Les Paul Standard. Uh, price tag is somewhere around 1,000, 3, 4, 500 uh, euros up to 2,000 euros. Uh, most likely if you want an Ebony model, uh, Ebony uh, Les Paul Standard, you're looking at 2,000 euros because that's what this guitar costs. So uh, the cheaper models, no, I don't think you should buy it. Uh, look for a uh, used Gibson Les Paul, uh, if you're looking for a Les Paul, uh, looking for maybe late 90s, mid 90s, you're going to get an awesome instrument, I tell you, it's a great guitar. Even though, even on the used market, they are a little bit pricey, I know, uh, you have to pay like um, six, seven, eight, nine hundred US bucks uh, for a used Gibson Les Paul. Um, it could be it could be a little bit pricey. Uh, if you live in Europe, I'd say probably six, seven, eight hundred euros somewhere around there. You have to pay for a uh, uh, Gibson Les Paul uh, from the early. 2000 if you're looking for um, an even cheaper model I think you have to look for a long time because uh, secondhand prices on Gibson is not very cheap so but you will get uh, more guitar uh, if you buy a, a used G Gibson Les Paul for example in a great condition uh, you are going to get a lot more better guitar than if you're buying a new Gibson Les Paul in the same pr price range. So yeah, uh, I'm not very happy about this. Uh, I feel sad because I can't buy any more Gibson guitars from uh, Thoman. Uh, that makes me kind of sad. But anyway, maybe I'll stick to the used market from now on. Um, I don't think I will buy an, a, uh, even a used Gibson from uh, that is only a year or two uh, old because the quality is too poor. So 
I will stick to the older models. That's what I will do. So yeah, uh, this is today's shout out about Thoman and Gibson guitars. So until next time, take care now. Bye bye then.